As I said in the previous video, a lot of players assume that switching to being a guide will essentially up their workload to play the game. It's true that guiding takes more work, but that is no reason to feel anxious. Every sort of managerial role takes more of your time, but if you have compulsion, it's very fulfilling. The point of this video is to let you know, dear beginner new guide, that it's okay to give yourself a break, to not stress out, and to take things easy. That doesn't mean to come unprepared for the session, but it does mean to understand that all your players know what you're going through. If you're not starting a new game group from scratch, then there's a good chance one or more of your players have been guys before. Also, the players who don't want to be guys probably don't want to, because they know the work and stress involved. I'll tell you a little secrets between guys. Unless you're a consummate slacker that pulls everything out of their asses, you, more often than not, overprepare. I usually prepare the whole next adventure before I start scene 1 with my players, even though I know they will take anywhere between 3 to 8 sessions to use all of it. I'm really trying to relax on that end, and you should too. Like I said in my last video, if you can think of 3 or 4 different scenes with at least one interesting thing to interact with in each of them, and at least one of those things is a big one, like combat, or an interesting challenge, or enough room to freeform roleplay, then you've got a session covered. Another thing to remember, some guys can easily carry a session that's 4, 6, or even 8 hours long, but quality is almost always better than quantity. A good, engaging session where everyone gets to shine that takes 2 hours is much better than an 8 hour one which makes everyone exhausted and wishing they were somewhere else. Also, lean on your players. It's really not your job to remember all the rules. Find the rules lawyer of your group and ask them whenever you're unsure how some mechanic works. You've got a lot of moving creatures in combat? Pick someone to manage initiative. You can also ask them to track how much damage is done to each creature and then you only have to notice when it reaches its set hit points. It's also okay to be generous to your players. Tell the attack drop the goblin to two hit points? It's fine if it's dead. That roll missed your DC by one? Let them have it. The players have a ridiculous idea you're not quite sure you should allow? If it doesn't break your game, roll with it. Literally. You don't have to fix everything in the moment. You can think about things later, correct for later sessions, or, as I already recommended, start with a few one-shots with no long-lasting effects. Only start a big campaign when you're more sure of your abilities. Notice I said more sure and not perfectly sure. I still consider encounter balancing a moving target. I'm assuming you're a new guy watching this, so you're probably going to stress over your first few sessions no matter what I say, so I'll give you one last piece of advice. Even though I believe it very unlikely you will really mess up during the game, know that it's completely okay to say, even after just an hour of gaming, that you need to stop and realign, rewrite, or reconsider where the adventure is going. If you held your player's attention for an hour, congratulations, you're as entertaining as a TV episode. If you held your player's attention for two hours, well done, you're as entertaining as a movie. Speaking of holding a player's attentions, don't discount your player's ability to hold their own. Give them an interesting question and some time and they can easily kill 30 to 60 minutes just discussing and randomly roleplaying. That's a good thing. And honestly, the only thing that should really interest you when you roll the credits is not whether your players can, would, or should, but whether they want to meet back up and play again. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, please press the thumbs up button. Subscription to the channel also helps a lot. Hit the notification bell if you want to know about livestream. And that's it until next time. Stay good. Have fun.